Hey everybody, we're gonna go on the jack boat, or at least the boat that jack. So should I get on this side or? Whichever side is best for you. Oh. Hey Dave, what's the date? Uh, October 31st, my birthday. That's right, happy Halloween. Let's go ride a boat. So we're finally gonna go on Lake Ebola, I mean Eola. On uh, on a swan dive ride boat. Wait. So. All right. So I am shooting today with my Go Professional, and oh, this is not very professional. It's all blown out. And I'm also shooting. Well, uh, with my SLR. Oh. But yeah, we uh, decided to follow in Jack's footsteps and go out on a swan boat in the middle of December. Happy Halloween. So, unfortunately, we don't have the budget to do a full-on Jack costume, but we'd love to do that. I'm at least representing. But, um, so yeah, this is our ride on the on a swan. This is actually pretty fun. I can, I can see why they chose to come here and debut Jack like this. Well, it's a very iconic place in Orlando, and it is very much not Halloween, and riding around in a giant swan is not something a, a uh, psychopathic killer murderous clown would do. But that's the whole idea. So yeah, that's why it's perfect. So I'm shooting with both cameras so I get a variety of shots because the GoPro can only go wide. But that way when I look at Brian, I'm not like, hey, Brian. I got a nice wide shot up here. I have a little thing that mounts on my GoPro onto the hot shoe mount. Which if you don't know what that means, it's, it's basically where you, where you connect the flash on top of the camera. So I have it nice and distant because it's a very wide lens. I've asked Santa Claus for a uh, stabilizer gimbal for Christmas. Oh. I don't know if it'll happen but that's the fun yeah is I may or may not get it so I have to wait and find out it's a surprise I think we needed to be at a bigger, better angle, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You should have swung out a little wider. Let's go around. Um, no, like I said, let's go around. Oh, all right. That's what I always thought you were going to do to begin with. I have a car he doesn't. Can you tell? All right, now should be able to pull right in. You know, maybe not. I couldn't I couldn't see the dock because of the swan. No, we're not we're not quite ready. Back that way. Why is this still going straight backwards?
I, this is what I meant. Like, I thought okay. you were going to go more angle like this. Okay. It's hard for me because I can't see around the swamp. Oh. Okay, uh, this drifted a lot more than I thought it would. That was weird. Everything was going good and then it just went, so went left suddenly. We also have water current to worry about. Yeah. That's actually a lot of fun. Bit of a workout, but it's fun. Oh yeah. Well, we are going to go check out the uh, the fountain or the sculpture that we saw before, and we're going to try to show you guys the uh, museum. See if they let me sh shoot video in here. Now, show you how much of a ninja this guy is. We just walked past the 7-Eleven. I was looking the other way. This guy not only bought a coffee but drank it without me even knowing. Went into 7-Eleven, bought a coffee, drank it, and I didn't even notice. Sometimes you gotta do that in a 15. That's pretty amazing. And if you watched our previous video, exploring downtown Orlando, you will maybe remember this, but um, because we were late getting here, it was dark by the time we got here, and couldn't really show you much, even with this camera, because it was way too dark. Uh, but obviously this was a water feature. Uh, it's really a bummer that there is no water anymore. Kind of makes only half as good. But we're going to go to the Orange County Place of Historical History stuff. I mean, Orange County Regional History Center. Before we go in, I just wanted to point out that this looks like it was retrofit with LEDs. Pretty cool. Just in case I forget to shoot the entrance here. There's some interesting stuffs here. Of course, it's called Orange County because it used to be orange groves out here. And I believe, I, I, would, I would assume that this is the original Orange County, but I could be wrong. And when Wizarding World of Harry Potter uh, opened, uh, this is the line that extended all the way to, not really. Humanities, I hope you're out there some. Oh, you're right there, hey. Should we go to research archives and admissions? Administrations? Nah. We're gonna go to, your journey begins here. Because once the, your journey begins, the journey continues. Right, Mr. Works at Iowa? That's right. The adventure continues. Hey. Now yeah, I've kind of paraphrased it. Yeah. That's a, Look, it's a, a very large, oh, that's back away here. It's a very large canoe that, uh, or a dog, a dog chew toy. <laughs> Discovering a paradise. Hey, what are you doing over there? It's very quiet in here. Shh. I'm gonna push a button. Oh my gosh. Oh. Jerome. As I say, oh my gosh, nothing happened. Bing. Ooh. Do do do. What? <laughs> Let me do that again. Ooh, okay. That is, uh, man, it's all Spanish, I don't know. And these are all the uh, submissions. Here, you, you can. So this is the first one. Jesus and Francescan. And then 16th, 17th century Spanish forts and garrisons. Bing, bong, bong. <clears throat> and today we still have Spanish here. Hey, what you doing over there? Some berries. Oh, she's making tray mix. Is <laughs> she really? I mean, you got berries, you have nuts over there, some cranberries. Yeah, that's you know, tray mix. Oh, and some they didn't have any spoons, so they used fish. You know, dude, just hold on, you're almost there. Huh, I didn't know the French is part of Florida history. 
yet in well we do have some French here as in its form of Creole but that came from Haiti and the British of course because there's some English still here unlike the Spanish the British did not live closely with the native people instead they restricted the land Seminoles could occupy and establish plantations on the former native land yep that sounds like the English New Samara is their most famous plantation colonized by 300 families from the British held Mediterranean island of Minaraca? Min yeah, Min Minaraca? I can't read out, very, out loud very well. I can read, I just can't read out loud very well. European rivals compete for Florida. The first party. Pardon. It is kind of interesting that they're making pottery when they're made of clay. <laughs> or they say they look like clay. We got all these shells. Yeah. It's an old trash heap. Making a home. Oh, they're building a home out of shells. Mm. Oh. Early garbage dumps. So Brian's job was one of the earliest jobs in Florida. <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. Ooh, there's a neat water effect over here. Water, water everywhere. That's what it says. But not a lot to drink. This is how sinkholes started, I believe. Pulled out too much water and then there was nothing to hold the land up. I actually didn't know this was part of the uh, exhibit. I just said that and then these are the pretty famous sinkholes. This is from May of 81. <laughs> That's interesting. It says the sinkhole uh, had developed the deep end of the water, the uh, city water park city pool um, and made it the very deep end. <laughs> and it's still growing. Hey Dave, what does this remind you of? Uh, a truck with a camper on it. Reminds me of Twister. Oh. Ride it out. This is a pretty neat little exhibit here. Yeah. Just if you do come here, look out. There's a step up there I didn't see. I didn't trip, but still. There's a car falling in. It's pretty interesting. Fighter Fire saw two 60 foot trees get sucked into the hole like they were going down the toilet. Oh, man. That's a pretty cool picture. Whoa. It's talking about the uh, lightning, I believe, in, in South Florida or Central Florida, which is, uh, I believe, the lightning capital of the United States. United States. Um, and the second highest rate of lightning in the world, I believe. If not, it's, it's up there. Welcome to Ghost Town. So basically, the, 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 what it's saying is we pull out so much water from the ground that it, it creates sinkholes and just general information about water. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Banana? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Time to play with some Lincoln logs. And here's a little bit more about why this is called Orange County. So it kind of looks like we rented the place out for ourselves. Uh, it just happens to not be very busy right now. As you probably know, we just we're just here because of uh, curiosity in my YouTube channel. We um, don't have any special arrangement with the museum or we're not we weren't asked to come here or sponsored or anything just here's regular guests here's a bunch of tickets ticket please packers at the holy holly hill fruit pro, uh, products in davenport florida used the tickets in its box to identify which worker packed each crate of citrus 
Oh, so it's kind of like inspected night by number five. Jackass. That's what it says, jackass. <laughs> yes. The video. Go on to pick. Look at, look at how well dressed that guy is for picking oranges. Oh, well, maybe that's not what they typically wore. What's up, dog? Make some breakfast there. <sighs> Brian doesn't like this part. So what is this? If you say cow, a cowboy, oh, no, you're wrong. This is a cow man. <gasps> don't you know the difference? Do you know what the difference is? I, I, I don't. This look like, looks like the West, but uh, it is not. That's a crazy looking bovine. This is kind of cool. It looks, it looks like a cabin in here. A log cabin, of course. Hey, where's the syrup? I want some pancakes now. Jeez. Well, you know how small this bed is? I know, it looks pretty f big to me. Full size to me. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. This comes with a net for the bugs. Here's a little fort. Well, Brian touched a bunch of exhibits, so I'm going to have to... We're going over here to the criminal court. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm innocent. Find out. You know what they have over here? Jury, jury, jury. Let's see how many of you get that reference. It's uh, not the word, but it's uh, paraphrasing of it. I'll put it in the comments below if you know what that is. So, Brian, if that's your real name, on Tuesday, the 19th of December in 2017, you were accused of touching an artifact in the Orange County Regional History Center. How do you plead? Well, first off, I'm innocent. That thumb was broken after Ooh. I got there. Hey, hey, hey. I'm supposed to be judged in a neutral setting by a jury of my peers. The verdict oh. is not to be guilty before it's even concluded. So you can, as you can see here, this was an actual courthouse. It's not just theming. So we work at a theme park, so we kind of like figured it was built. So this was, so people were actually convicted and acquitted here, or found guilty or innocent. Of course, it hasn't been used in a long time, but they restored this to its original shape. Surprised that people come in and sit and like mess with things, but I, I, there's no signs in here. It says don't sit here, so we did. Except for the retractables, there's a couple, but, but that's about it. Yeah. This, I'm not sure if what this desk back here is for. So this is one courtroom, and the other courtroom was, ooh, over here, but they, they, removed, they removed it for uh, exhibits. Oh, look at that part of a plane. When the war ends, something else happens. Many of the military pilots... Oh, there is... Mm -hmm. You're right, there are things about the theme parks. Look at all this old Mickey stuff. It went pretty quickly from the original people here to Disney, didn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, there pretty much was nothing here before Disney. Yeah, but they said people, there's a history going back 12,000 years, so. Yeah. Whoa. I was looking at the um, original. That's pretty neat. It's too bad it faded, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Whoops. It's how big of a thing Disney is here. Of course, Universal's getting bigger too, but um, it's, it's still not quite anywhere close, and it probably never will be. Because they just don't have the land. Orlando Air Base. I'm gonna guess that's where the airport is right now, because a lot of civilian airports used to be military bases. Sir, where's your shirt? 
Sir, I have not been promoted up to it's a shirt big wearer. tire. Well, uh, he didn't have a shirt on, so I thought it'd be it'd be all right, right? No. And of course, in Central Florida, we go the, into space too. Their Disney. Um, that I'm not sure what the house is, but that's Animal Kingdom. That is Blizzard Beach. What used to be MGM, the Eiffel Tower is actually gone now. For some reason, a blue ep uh, Spaceship Earth. Magic Kingdom, I think. Well, that's Typhoon Lagoon. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the other one next to it is. And then there's random things. I like, go, oh, those are lights. Oh, okay. the house is the Haunted Mansion. Maybe. And then that might That could be, it could be Epcot. I mean, yeah, Epcot. And, um, oh, oh, they do have Universal there. Where? That is that glo the globe. Oh. Even though <laughs> Universal's on the opposite side of the city from uh, Disney, so, uh, yeah. Well, actually, I don't remember if I said it on camera, but I was m m uh, mixed up. I don't know where the train tracks are, but... Uh, Disney is on one side of us, and Universal is the other side of us. Um, so we're we like, are between Universal and downtown Orlando. But they got sort of. We're next to it, but so we Disney go is, east. We go east to downtown Orlando, west to Disney. But Disney's this giant thing. That gold globe is Universal. Yeah, Disney has a represent representation of every single one of the parks. We, we <laughs> that's just a globe, and then Shamu. That's Sea World. Sea World. That little, that giant thing, almost the size of Universal Orlando, is what is what was Wet and Wild. The, yeah, with the the blue with the. the and then blue. this is, um, I believe, that's Wonderworks with the. Uh, well, you can see a little better with the upside down building. And the Gator Head is uh, Gatorland. That one, because there's also a Gator Head down here. Oh. And some skiing. Cypress Gardens. Oh, Cyper Gar Cypress Gardens, is that the, what became Legoland? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Eight cent stamps. Three for 25 cents. Well, here's Gatorland again. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to show because I can't really show you everything. Cause that'd be too much. But you, just, cool. you just have to come here and check it out if you are in the area, which you probably not because you probably are watching from another country. Celebrating the community. Let's check that out. That's a kids area. Jeez, I should have left you in here, Brian. You would have had more fun. Roots. Bloody roots. Roads. Bloody roads. Oh, look, it's a modern sewing machine. What's that doing in here? Oh, and I, I'm i guessing there are LEDs. Yep, LEDs all over the place because it's causing funky lines in the video. It's a singer. I, I don't hear it singing. It's still a Fairly small city, though. Elsewhere in the county, one business remained, but many opened along Colonial Drive, Orange Blossom Trail, Edgewater Drive, Interesting Drive, video. Orange Avenue, and in Winter Park. This is how Ron Shader said happy first anniversary to his wife, Marty, in 1965. I, I don't know who that is. Seeds have changed. I'm sorry about the, the flicker. I can't really do much about it. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't fix it. Forgot to say, this is a, uh, I believe this is the Jewish display. I'm, I, I really just, I can't do anything about this, this flickering. It's the LEDs. Well, this is interesting. So this, Whoops. if you don't know what the rocket fire explosion is, it's um, basically a thing Chuck E. Cheese 
but not Chuck E. Cheese. It's actually it's the what open to compete with Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. So it's a very similar idea, an animatronic band that would sing songs while the kids had their birthday party. Um, it no longer exists anymore, but collectors... And uh, I believe it's the same person who invented Whack-A-Mole. Hmm? Collectors would uh, buy the animatronics and now you can... You, uh, there is YouTube videos of the Rocket Fire Explosion singing any song they want. Like there's Rocket Fire Explosion singing Nine Inch Nails. Um, yeah. Uh, I believe uh, CeeLo Green had them uh, perform the musical of um, uh, F.U. Sometimes known as the Forget You song. Yeah. Uh, there's the Rock of Fire Explosion sitting in the um, Pop, Lock, and Drop It remix. So that's cool. That's yeah. I didn't realize this is part of Central Florida history, including... Uh, Whack-A-Mole was first shown off here in Central Florida. Here's a little bit of, uh, if we want to read that. Let's pause. And unfortunately we don't have much time to show this because it's the, one of the last things and we're running low on time for our parking meter. Although there's a lot of smaller things here, it's hard to focus on overall. Like, there's no big exhibit in here, which is. But also part of Central Florida history, of course. Map of Orlando. Seems to be a lot of churches in our, in Central Florida. More cows pulling carts. So hopefully, if you make your way to Orlando, you'll have time to check this place out. I know when we used to travel to Orlando for Universal, we didn't have time to look at anything. We didn't have time to go to the pool at the hotel. We didn't have time to sleep. So maybe not be plausible for everybody, but uh, it seems that it's actually a much cooler. I didn't know what to expect. This is pretty neat. So yeah. now we're gonna make our way down to the first floor. But I think it's what we already showed you. So Why don't you try another take? I guess I can. Here's a little bit of space. I'm surprised there's not more. Actually, there was a little bit more upstairs. So these bears, Bill Bear and his appliance store bears, were familiar sights to Winter Park and Almont Mall shoppers back in the 1950s and 1960s. Oh, also, this should be 1950S and apostrophe 60S. That's actually grammatically incorrect. People do that all the time now. There's the bears. And his name was Bear, but it wasn't spelled quite the same as B-E-A-R, but the, all the letters are there. That, that brings us down to the, to the first floor where we started. Hello. So that is a tour of the museum. That's our trip back to downtown Orlando and the Swan. I might add the, um, might add the video with where we're going to have dinner, but may not. So just in case, thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the gift shop.